just getting up. I haven't had any coffee yet, so I still got my morning face on. What do the girls say, Savannah, in the morning? Uh, what do you guys say? Huh? You gotta put your morning faces on or whatever? Just put my face on. <laughs> just, just put your face on. Teach you doesn't wear much makeup, though, honestly. What do you wear? This eyeliner? Just mascara. Just mascara. Mm -hmm. she's, she's got that natural beauty. <laughs> kind of like myself. All right, guys. So we're in Highland. Isn't that what it's called, Highland? This is our annual breakfast spot. Highland Mornings. This place is awesome. First cup of coffee will not be the last. And uh, yeah, we come here every single time. If you guys come, you gotta get their biscuits. You gotta get their scrambles. What else do they gotta get, TQ? They have an assortment of different pancakes, French toast, all kinds of things. They're all just yummy. Yeah. I get the Eggs Benedict though. Eggs Benedict, and I tried the Denver Scramble today with none of the extras, so I'm not getting the bread, I'm not getting the grits, I'm not getting any of that. I'm mainly getting the eggs and the meat and the cheese. All right, waiting to get in. They do things a little different for this show than they do for the Equip Expo we come to. So tickets are actually free to get in, but you do have to pay to park. Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful Kentucky day? Good morning, guys. You know the first place we gotta stop as soon as we get to the farm and machinery show. There goes us. There's us. Look at that guy. I know that guy. That was a fun job. <laughs> that was a really fun job. There's us. Yeah. If you happen to know who these two young boys are, will you please reach out to us through our Spencer Lawn Care Instagram page? We'd love to send them a free gift. We finished the video and I went back to look for them to hang out with them for a split second and I couldn't find them anywhere. I know my good buddy Jared isn't here today because he's not feeling so good. But I had to come over and share some love. What's up, man? No complaints. You ought to see a fantastic content creator that we have over here on the Grand Set Multiforce. Everybody stops by and whenever they see you on there, they stop and watch <laughs> How's things going? Good, good. good. Yeah? Things going really well. You know the first day was a little slow, but yesterday about 9, 10 o'clock really picked up and it's been swamped every single day. It is crazy. Like we just got here and just the work, I mean, 100 yards, I mean, everybody's just packed in like cattle. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Anything uh, new here today we can uh, showcase? Well, the, I'll tell you where the bulk of the interest has been. Really around the dingo. Okay. Been around the 144. That's where everybody's stopping just to find out more information. I've been shocked at the different applications that people have talked about for 144s, whether it's solar farms or whether they're looking at uh, just wide area mowing around their properties. And then the other thing that we got is the, the new Titan is over here. Okay. People are interested in that for the kind of three to five acres that they've got to maintain. And then we got the new 2000 that's over there. And that's drawn a lot of interest. The bulk of what we hear on that is really about the, the potholes, or not the potholes, but the, the uh, erosion that you get out, you know. And, and yeah, a little divot and everything. And, and so they're like, they love the independent My Right suspension and how that allows them to flex and float because then they can go faster and get more time. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, and 144 inches. I mean, look at that thing, guys. It is a giant. Wait, it was really great seeing you. We're gonna go see a lot more of the show. I actually have a lot of information we're uh, trying to gather while we're here today, and yeah, we're gonna see what's all out here. There's so much. Thank you for stopping by. Absolutely. That is massive. J and M. Holy mackerel. Love the decal, American flag, patriotic farmer. Wow. TQ's kind of blown away at the size of the equipment they have in this place compared to when we typically come. You know, it's mowers and tractors, smaller stuff. Now all this stuff goes to the ceiling. It's insane. All right, guys, so we found something we're really interested in here. So these are actually windmills and different style windmills that you can put onto your property that spin and you can put it right into your pond, which that's what we've been talking about doing. Something very similar. We were kind of wanting to just put a fountain out there to keep the water moving. I'm going to grab one of their business cards here. What do you think, TQ? I think that's an efficient way to, because 
we were just talking about putting something in our pond. That way you get some flowing, make sure it's not getting stagnant and all the algae and everything that's right. going in there. But I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. Breezy Mills. You can put your mill name on it, your farm name on it. These are awesome. Let's take a look down here real quick. Oh, the red, white, and blue one's for sale right now. It has a show special. I think it's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. And this is a coyote. It's a bigger unit. I don't know if I've ever seen one of these in our area. So wanted to stop here real quick, check it out. Man, this is a big, big mower. It's got a Kawasaki out front. Looks like a 730 if I'm reading that right. See this here though. I wanted to stop mainly because, you know, we have Spencer products and I'm like, hey, maybe we can make a shoot blocker for it, you know? Well, for this style, it's gonna be extremely tough. These big gas tanks on the side, which I get it, they have their spot, but something like this, you're gonna need something probably electronic or something driven by a cable. So I just wanna stop, take a look at it, see if it was something we could uh, implement fairly easy. But uh, this one looks like it'd be pretty darn tough for us. But overall, it looks like a well-built machine. Any of you guys uh, ran Coyote stand-on mowers, let us know. Four farmers who believe in better. Precision planting. Uncommon USA original telescoping flagpole. These are sweet. They have lights as well. Solar. Very cool. All right, here at Bush Hog. We got drawn in because I know it's probably hard to see, but back in the back, there's a pink. Looks like a brush cutter, we believe. <laughs> Watch your head. I think these blades need sharpened. <laughs> Just kidding. Here's the pink one, TQ. Anything pink, we gotta come check out the TQ. I'll try to talk a little bit so we don't get copyrighted here. Got some Alabama playing. First country concert I ever went to. Tight squeeze. <laughs> There is literally so much to take in. Like, you kind of get pulled and then you're like, did we go over here, did we go down that lane? It's just so much. I feel like this end is not as busy as the other end. Though. The other end was insane. You like couldn't even, couldn't breathe. Oh, here we got Dixie Chopper. TQ wants to spin around here real quick. They're back on the market. I don't know what the whole deal was that what happened with them. They uh. Went under for a minute and now they're back. It's definitely a different experience from the Equip Expo versus this farm show. Right. It's pretty uh, pretty darn cool. A lot more spread out, but a lot of people in the, the walkways. Parking was insane. I don't think we filmed any of that coming in, but no. it was insane. You probably walked a half a mile just to get to the door. So, and it's supposed to be snow coming, sleet. So I'm hoping it kind of clears out a little bit early. Let's go this way here. Check this thing out. It's called the Fat Boy. <laughs> My goodness. 
I'm gonna talk about moving some material. Holy macro. Look at the tires on this thing. I don't know if this video is gonna do it justice how big this thing is. Meyer Manufacturing. I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce that, but maybe Uncapur? We'll, uh, we'll ruin it right here, right now. Huge, huge booth. upstairs yeah that's where all the cool kids hang out you don't, it's in here. It's okay. gonna... who says it doesn't pay to be short <laughs> we could do an oil change on this thing no problem like yeah Right whatever, there. whatever this doohickey is. No, I'm just kidding. It looks like a ball joint. But uh, yeah, yeah. oil change right here. Yeah, you just start unplugging stuff, and yeah, right there's your oil change. It's pretty darn cool. Watch your head, TQ. That one there looks like it'll get you. Right here, this one. It's so cool, just how big everything is. And it's even better, all the little kids climbing in and out of all of them. I love seeing the kids here. Yeah, they have a blast because, I mean, it's like being on a playground, you know? Running up and down the slides, the steps. I mean, where else can you go climb into, I don't know what this runs, half a million dollar, million dollar? I don't know. Well, what you're seeing here is our future. Right. So you got to let them come out here and experience it or there won't be a future. Yeah, so. that's very true. Oh my goodness, the size of this thing. Can't even get it all in there, so many people. All right, we're here at the Bat Boy booth. I wanted to check out this stand on once this young gentleman is done checking it out himself. So this is the Bad Boy Revolt. Another Kawasaki out front there. This is a smaller unit. Uh, I'm gonna say, what's it say? 34 inch deck, okay. So definitely a smaller deck. What I like about it, there's not a gas tank or a battery or exhaust or anything on this side. So we could produce a Spencer Products flex chute for this pretty darn easy. So, uh, hey, bad boy, if you guys are uh, in need of a chute blocker for your stand on mowers and your other mowers as well down the line, get a hold of us. I'd love to get one of these, maybe in multiple deck sizes and uh, only need it for a little bit of time, a couple months. We could probably produce a flex chute for this unit. Revolt SD. Kids just hanging off this thing. <laughs> Look at that. Pretty darn cool. Hey, while we're here, we might as well check out this baler as well. Insane. Another one here, TYM. They actually have a big one right here and another one down there at the end, but that one was completely surrounded with people. Really, really cool. Nice booth here. Got some smaller tractors here as well. Taking it all in, we never know what uh, we might just need at the property, so. Nice brush cutter.
can't walk past and not check out the case farm all it's definitely a big tractor all right i thought this was pretty cool t3 driver i believe it's pronounced dan nooser dan nooser We've been looking into some fence options at the property. So I showed you the smaller pole driver. This one can drive in a telephone pole. Pretty darn cool. All right, guys, International Farm All. Had to throw this in with the tractor. Excuse me, guys. So everybody around me is saying it's a 15. So I'm guessing that has to do with that number up front, 1566. This is pretty cool. We are talking with the gentleman. So overseas, Haiti, countries like that, they're able to go in and put these housings up for about $9,000 and, I mean, provide an entire family, up to 10 people housing. So he was showing us here. This is all a, a nonprofit. So I figured I'd share it here on the channel. But yeah, they have a little loft up top. They can set it up any way they want, different bunk beds and this and that. And uh, yeah, I just thought it was really cool. Wanted to shine a light here on their, on their uh, product. And you know, they're doing something really good and uh, taking care of people. So that's what it's about. My goodness, guys. I don't know if it's the bad weather outside, drove everybody inside, but this place is packed. I am not kidding you, it is packed. Everywhere you go, if you want to get a drink, food, anything, probably going to wait a half an hour. Like, insane. Insane. There's zero places to sit down. Normally, Equip Expo, you can find a spot. It'll open up. But there is nothing at all, all the way around. All right. TQ had to get a ring cleaned here. Man worked his magic. Looks really, really nice. Made a sale. Yep. <laughs> We're up here. This is actually the craft area. This is in the south wing. All kinds of different things. Uh, an area that a lot of people don't even know is up here, but you gotta go upstairs and uh, bring yourself down here. A lot of unique, different things outside of tractors and that whole entire thing. So make sure you don't, if you come to the show, forget about this area. Uh, they're saying bad weather's coming. Some ice, some snow. It's uh, definitely wet out here, so we don't know how bad it's got just yet. So TQ's gonna drive us all the way back home. I am not. No. But great uh, thinking. <laughs> Great second year here at the Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, got to do a lot more exploring this time because honestly, it was so busy that it was hard to film. Probably the hardest show I've ever tried to film in. And uh, we got you guys some stuff. I mean, <laughs> it's all there is to it, but Mainly, we took in the show and did a lot of research on our own. We have an entire, I mean, entire bag of information. Pamphlets, and so this was my first year coming because I didn't get to come last year. And I almost didn't come this year, but I came. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's super, super busy. Lots to see. A lot of things I was like, what am I even looking at? But things, some of the things that we don't even have to worry about, but there are some things that we want to learn a lot about so like sean said we got some information and super excited that we i actually came honestly it was a good experience right but uh hopefully we got you some good good stuff we ran into quite a few people that we knew and yep stanley dirt monkey was here uh joshua stony ridge farmers was here yeah probably too many people to remember anyways said hi to everybody it's always good to catch up for a few minutes but everybody's working everybody's hustling all right guys so we had to leave the farm machinery show earlier than we were hoping for we were starting to hear a lot of rumors inside the show that there was a lot of ice and snow and everything coming and uh, i'm glad we ended up leaving early even though we wanted to stay a lot longer and get a lot more content uh, this is kind of what happens every time you uh want to leave and <laughs> go do something for uh you know the snow season we haven't had any snow for the last almost month we leave town and uh, you know try to enjoy a little bit and boom, out of nowhere comes this little snow ice event. 
So now we're booking it back home. We got a couple, about three hours still to go. I think that's what it says down there. Listen to some podcast and uh, yeah, just trying to get back as fast as possible. We've been pretty much going 50 mile an hour since we left the convention center about three hours ago. But uh, yeah, this is kind of what stinks. You just never know what mother nature is going to do. And from the way we understand it, it hit Illinois, Indiana, Northern Kentucky, uh, Ohio, Pennsylvania, even going into Maryland. So, yeah, I guess we'll see when we get back home where we stand. It has been extremely warm uh, all day. It was about 45. So we don't know exactly what we'll have to do. But TQ's about to take a nap on me, I think. I'm not going to take a nap at all. Did you enjoy the show, what we got to uh, got to do? I did. I, I really did. I... I really enjoyed the time away just with you. I mean, granted, we work together, we're together all the time, but there's, you know, certain times we need together, you know, away from business. But this was kind of more pleasure for us, I think. Uh, we did do some videoing, but I, I just enjoyed spending time with you, babe. Yeah, me too. So, uh, yeah, so we'll just go ahead and uh, focus on the road here and get home safely and probably get to work when we get home. Yeah, I'm focused <laughs> on the road. I yes, haven't taken my eyes off. You are. Alright guys, had to stop and pull over. I tried to use my hand. The whole front of the car is frozen up. And we cleaned the whole back of the car out. And took the ice scraper out because we didn't think we were going to need it anymore. But literally cannot see going down the road. Everything is a sheet of ice. Oh, man, I really don't want to beat on this car. The whole front of this thing. I mean, everything is a sheet of ice. Look at that crap. I gotta focus on this here real quick. I just thought I'd share with you guys real fast. We're like, we're driving down the highway and like, couldn't see anything. Police got the lights uncovered. See the turn signals and everything. The entire grill is frozen up on this thing insane that ice we got right at the beginning leaving the expo just froze everything solid so we literally could not see anything you nice and warm in here with your cover on yeah. holy mackerel all right 31 degrees now we left the expo is 45 right it was. I think we should just get another hotel room. No, we got to get home. We got three <laughs> hours on the dock. We got to go. Well, guys, there was too many wrecks. Our route went from three hours and 15 minutes to almost four hours. And we were coming up on another delay. So yeah. we decided to uh, go ahead and park it for the night. It's almost nine o'clock. And uh, yeah, we got our guys taking care of our stuff back home. All right, guys, so it takes a lot for me to stop, trust me. I don't have a problem driving in it, but my goodness, when you can't see, your whole entire vehicle just keeps freezing up. Like, I've literally stopped probably four or five times and cleaned this entire thing off, and yeah, it's just, I mean, ice. It's just ice. It's raining ice. Like, everything is ice, and when you're battling ice, it sucks bad. So good thing is, is nobody's at the hotel we're at. I mean, this place is empty. So we got in pretty darn easy. We heard there is a Jeff Ruby Steakhouse across the street. So I think we're gonna partake in that. And uh, yeah, just stinks, man. We need to we need to get home, but it is what it is. So it is late Friday night, so we're anticipating with the weather being a Friday, we should be able to get into that Jeff Ruby's fairly uh, easy or fast, whatever you want to consider. I'm wore out just from the stress of the drive and people wrecking around us. Like it was, it was wild, guys. I'm not kidding you. Probably the last two, two and a half hours has just been. Oh, you gotta touch the key. It's one of those ones you gotta touch the key to move. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We're staying at Drury. We're members at this place. Drury Hotel's phenomenal. Uh, complimentary drinks in the evening if you like that. Complimentary uh, breakfast. 
in the morning and like late snacks, dinner, whatever you want to consider it. Uh, highly recommend them. So always been really, really good to us. Right here. This is home for the night, 652. Welcome to my crib. Awesome, awesome. You should turn the lights on in this place. Yeah, I like the dark. Like in the dark. You're like a you like a bat. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Nice little desk. Nice bed for me to sleep in. TQ gets the chair. And... I mean, the chair is actually comfortable. I did come in here and sit in that chair. Yeah. Drury's always have phenomenal looking rooms, guys. We've uh, we've been staying in this place for years. Oh, man. I feel like these are just sheets on my bed. Feel like it? No, it's just tucked. Okay. Always got to check for bed bugs anyways. Never had a problem with these, though. Figured I'd show you guys the room real quick. This is where you do your, uh, where are the lights? Oh, right in front of me. That's where you take a poop. That's where you take a shower. There you go. Nice quick little room. All right. We're going to go get some dinner. As always, keep mowing, keep growing. Keep making money, boys and girls. Take you out. Peace. Bye. Bye.